Um, <clears throat> let me say a good morning to all listeners. Um, Bella, this, this Galamse issue is actually one that worries me a lot. Being a, a student of environmental science, I, I understand better what it means to have people mine illegally, especially where people are employing methods that are not advised. Mm. Because some of the, 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 the chemicals that they use in mining, just as you indicated, that you find women giving birth to children without limbs and stuff. That is very true. Mm. Apart from that, it hinders their mental ability and stuff. That is very true. But you see, Bella, the issue of Galamse is one that when we are addressing it as much as possible, we should try to disassociate it from politics. I think that is the only way we can solve the issue of illegal mining and even um, practices, okay? Mm -hmm. Why am I saying so? She was able to point out um, instances where NPP people were ne uh, neck deep in the activity. That was good. I can equally mention people from her side or the NDC that were um, doing the ga illegal galamsi. And just as you pointed out, Prof. From Pom Watting's report. And let me quote him, okay? There's a place where he said that the NDC in the Western region, what they did was that they allowed their own people to mine so that they can get money to sponsor their candidates and even illegal, uh, what do you call them, um, independent candidates to contest against the NPP. Now, if you go back to history, before 2020 elections, look at the number of MPP NPs that we had, and look at what we are now having as at now. You ask yourself, what happened? Why did we lose over 35 seats? And the answer is simple, because... Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, make your point, I'm listening. Yeah, because of the kind of force, the kind of um, fight that the president put in during that time. Now, you go and read a report from Benefson. Benefson wrote something, I think somewhere 2022, on modern Ghana, um, what do you call it, news, that the item that they did. He indicated that the MPP suffered or lost over 30 seats because they fought Galamse. And the people were not happy with the way MPP fought Galamse. And so we suffered it. So when the president said that he's going to put his presidency on the line, he didn't lie. He did it and we suffered the consequences. Is and that really the case? Because no, again, going no, back to the Professor from the case. reports, hold on. He has said no, that. This one is not on. from from Pom Boateng. No, I'm just report. also bringing that in okay. so that we can also have a very balanced okay. conversation. Now he said that for example, a lot of, you know, senior members within the NPP had taken over the Galamse in all these areas to the extent that now they were not even allowing people within the villages to go and cut warmer, warmer, and he put that in quote in his report, to even go and sell or to use to pound for food. So these locals were upset with the NPP especially because they were not allowing them to go ahead and do the jobs that they were initially doing. And so if the NPP was going to lose the elections in any way. It's not because of the fight against legal mining. It was. But rather That's because why I said, of the, the way they were being ben treated, Epson, where some women were even will, being slapped. Let me, let me look for Ben Epson. When they attempted to enter the forest. Yeah, Ben Epson. Ben Epson's uh, report. I'm looking for Ben Epson's report. He wrote it. I'm not saying this from my own, um, what do you call it? He I'm not saying it. this from my own as well. I'm just giving yeah. you and another angle where... I'm also telling you that... Prof. You, you are, saying that you are, you are if we are going to lose prof. it, it's yes. because so of you how are the people were treated basing in the your areas argument where Galamse was taking place. Mm -hmm. from Pom Watin's report. Mm -hmm. And I am basing it on Benefson's report. And okay. we all know who Benefson is. So, Benefson said so. And are you putting him up, you know, higher than the professor I'm not who was the chairman of the interministerial committee? I am only making available information that is out there concerning Galamse. So are we going to consider the two? No, 
No, we have so to... that you admit to an extent no, that yes, see, maybe prof, it's because of your fight against it, but also because of how the prof, locals were treated, you know, which prof, angered them against the NPP. Prof Frempong is a scientist mm. and reported a scientific data. And we know who Ben Epson is. Ben Epson is a politician. And so the meaning or the data that Ben Epson will derive from what hap whatever happened is going to be different from what the scientists will be looking at. A scientist seeing a data has a different uh, interpretation from a, a politician. So I am making data available for people to appreciate it both scientifically and also when you look at it in the political um, line. Okay. That is the point I'm trying to make here. Now, you see, she made mention of Dr. B uh, Mr. Bisu, Charles Bisu. We are all aware that he's no longer working. Um, he was fired when they realized that he, he, he was involved. They fired him. And he, she said he was promoted. He wasn't promoted. Mm -hmm. He is an individual who went and contested. And his constituents thought that they could make him their PC. It is not the MPP that promoted him. These are constituents who have their own conscience and decided that they want him to be their um, parliamentary candidate. So but you have to win them. the delegates' votes first, the primaries, yeah, to so represent they, they, the party. Is the delegates within the party who select who should represent them as the, a parliamentary candidate? The delegates candidate? are individuals. Are they, they are not party beings. members? They are human beings. Yes, first. but are they not party members? They are party members. Okay. But they are human beings first. Okay? Now, you see, in as much as we are trying to say that MPP did this, NDC did this, one thing I need you to understand is that when it comes to fighting illegal mining, the NDC doesn't even have any track record to base their ability to fight illegal mining. And that one, she should know. Because I have video of Mahama publicly telling voters during campaign that if they vote for him and he becomes the president of Ghana, that was 2020 elections, he will ensure that all those that were arrested because of illegal mining, mm -hmm. he is going to give them amnesty. Did you watch the whole video? I'm coming. Did you watch? I'm just asking. No. Did you watch the whole video? I'm coming. Where he started from Aisha Wan and the likes of all the top people. I'm coming. Who were rather left to go scot-free. And it was rather the younger ones who were being arrested and made to pay for illegal mining. No, but were they guilty of the crime or not? But if we're arresting them, no. hold on, so you hold see, on. Have you watched the full video, by the way? I didn't watch the full video. So then you can't base your judgment I, on just a part no, of the video. The part because that if you I watch the full video, whether, then whether, you, I'm not justifying anybody who's engaging in illegal okay. mining. But the concern then is many of us are aware, in fact, your party, and that report also states the names of people within the presidency who are engaged in legal yeah, mining. And it, uh, None of them his, have his been arrested. Report, the Chinese report, people are arrested and they are deported. Per the law, they are supposed to serve their term here if they are found guilty before they are deported. In most cases, they are deported. Yet, the young ones who are looking for jobs in the country are the ones who are arrested and left to languish in jail. That's the concern so, that many so people are have. are you saying that And so the still, question, that's why I'm asking if you watch the full video. I didn't watch the full video. If you are but going to, if you're going to mean castigate that him, and I'm not speaking for him. who were incarcerated were not guilty of the crime. That's what I'm saying that I'm not speaking for anybody Good. engaged. Yes. But, but if we're arresting these young people, yes. why are we not arresting the main people, so the see, ones who are bringing Bella, the excavators, Bella, the Bella, ones who own these mining concessions? Bella, let's try to appreciate something here. Mm. Whether some people were left to go back to their hometowns or not, the question is, the people that he said he will be given amnesty to, were they guilty of the crime? What about the ones who no, are no, ones bringing Bella, in the excavators? Please, the ones who own these mining concessions? No. No, because you see, I have, you, we I have are, told we, you, you see, we are, we are on. building on something. I have told you that we are I don't side with something. anybody who I'm engages in Galamse. We, are are you I'm listening? Not so. Hold on, Tabitha, I'll let you speak, don't worry. Okay. I'm saying emphatically that I don't support anybody who engages in Galamse because now we're seeing that we're getting poisoned. But the former president is saying that if you are not arresting the main brains behind Galamse, yes. and yet you go to these sites and pick up these young men who by no fault of theirs, for some reason are engaged in Galamse, and you, you close your eyes to the big men yes. at the presidency yes. who are the ones bringing in these excavators, owning these the mining gold. concessions, how many who are taking out the gold. The then how were, are you fighting were, it? Were, 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 were cited. How many of them? How many? Yeah. So, of course, we've heard about Akunta mining. Yes. We've heard about you Akunta see, mining. Even Bella. this morning, there's a report from the fourth estate. Bella. Still listing Akunta mining as mining in the tunnel, uh, the Ibrim River. And yet they did not even have the license for that. 
they are still doing it. The president came out and said he does not believe they're engaged in illegal mining. That alone is bad enough because we don't have any reports indicating that they are not guilty of what they are being accused of. So, Bella, yes, the president has cleared him. Bella, you see, the issue here is this. That is why I made it clear that the issue of Galamsey is one that we do not have to paint party colors. That is why I initially wanted us to appreciate some details. Mm. That even if you have a whole candidate who wants to be president say some of these things, what are you telling the electorate? That is the point I'm trying to make here. And another point I want to make clear here is that, you see, you cannot fight something that the people want. That is another issue we are ignoring. The people that are involved in Galamse, the people that Galamse put food on their table, I can tell you for a fact, that counts into one million or plus people, mm -hmm. which serves as a source of, um, what do you call it, livelihood to them. Now, the question is, mm -hmm. what do we do? That is why... Um, if you look at what we did earlier, just as I indicated, we brought Operation Vanguard, we brought Operation Halt, we brought um, a, a, a temporal ban on the importation of excavators. Because see, if you are going to trace the history of excavators, we realize that it is the excavators that is causing a lot of harm. Who is bringing them in? Now listen, Who's I saw a report and according to the report... And land on this so that I can yes, bring land on this. spoken for long. I saw a report, and according to the report, excavators were introduced into the Ghanaian mining activities from 2010. Mm -hmm. And we all know 2010, who was president? Which party was in power? I thought you now, said we shouldn't paint no, any political no, colors on that, this one. Of but course, you seem but to be going I didn't, back to that. I didn't paint anybody. When I just said 2010, know we know who was in power. Yes. That's that is, also being political. Just to make it clear. Okay. That is what I'm saying. Because okay. it's the excavators that is causing a lot of damage to our water bodies. And so, the government, when Ekufado came, he said, look, I'm going to put a ban on the importation of what? Excavators. Two, I am going to make sure that those that have acquired license and are doing it legally, I'm going to put trackers in them to track their activities. All these measures were taken and still we are not seeing the results we all want. Mm -hmm. That is why Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is saying that. When he becomes president, what he is going to do is that, one, he is going to ensure that he doesn't make it difficult for people to secure proper license. One, why can't we do it now? No. Why can't he advise the president to do it now? Is the you president see, not seeing the state this, of our water this, bodies? This now, 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 now. You know, we are dying now. You that, want us to wait see, till after election? When, when was, when, you know, you see, Bella, Bella this, I this, know, I'm moving this, on, but I just wanted to respond this, to this. Uh, now, 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 we all know that it doesn't just happen that way. How? Since when did we get this issue come up again? This issue has been raging on for years. That's why I say, so they stop and go back, stop and go back. So now let's implement so now, these measures. Yes, that is why you, you indicated that they are going to have a meeting. That's the, the minister. That's the, not minister, the vice president. Yes. The vice president so, says when he comes. So, that's so a 2020 I am telling you our plan. manifesto, what the vice president has to do or the, the plans he has for Ghanaians. Let, let me use this opportunity okay, to let just come to lay two. Please, no, no, you've spoken for long. No, it's okay. I'll let you come you, back. You, you were asking a lot of questions. I'm sorry, but I needed to borrow into okay. the things you were saying because we expect that if the, the vice president has any plans for us, now is a cry for help. The media coalition against illegal mining is saying that declare a state of emergency. So if you have any plans, implement them now. Don't tell us to vote for you before you implement them in the nearest possible future.